Welcome back, Arkham players. This is Marisa, and we've got some exciting news for you. We now have arms and legs. Just kidding. We now have costumes with arms and legs. <laughs> Yar, now to start making your own costumes, let's give it a go. To get started, you're going to need your maker pen. Go ahead and open up your watch menu, go to your backpack, and then press use on your maker pen. Here is your maker pen. Go ahead and pull up your maker pen menu, then toggle onto the grid, and then world space. Then just open up your maker pen palette there, and then go to gadgets, go to CB2 gadgets here, and then select the full body costume dummy. Go ahead and select that, and I'm just going to go ahead and place that into the world. There you go. There's a lot you can do with the costume dummy. You can recolor the shirt. You can even edit into the individual parts of the limbs and merge into the individual parts of the limbs and configure a lot of the different settings. Now that you have spawned your dummy in, you can start editing your dummy. You can go ahead and do that by opening up your Maker Pen menu, then going to the Edit button. When you go to the Edit button, just hover over the individual parts of the dummy and you can see that it highlights. This means that you can actually edit these individual parts of the dummy by selecting one piece here let's go ahead and select a leg you notice that it highlights you can see it pretty clearly and you can draw within this object add a little shape here all right there we go there we go now i'm gonna go ahead and press done editing now this object is a part of this uh, leg here. So we can see this by opening up our maker pen menu and then pressing edit and then hovering over this this part of the leg here and you're going to notice that this is like highlighted here and the uh, maker pen object is also highlighted that's because it's on the this this part of the leg here. Now if we wanted to go into the leg we'll just go ahead and press edit here and then select our our object here. Now that we are selected and we're in this group we can go ahead and add any kind of shape within it but we're not going to do that right now we can go ahead and just press done editing and now we're out of the group and if players uh equip this costume they will now have this attached to their avatar not only can you edit and draw into the individual parts of the dummy but you can also merge parts to the dummy so let's say we have our object here this is going to be the chest piece i'm going to go ahead and place this this area here And then we'll place this area here. Now I'm going to go place this area here. Here we go. Now these objects are not on the dummy, but I can go ahead and select this object, then select the highlighted part on the chest, press the options menu, then merge object. Now I can do the same thing with this object here, the center here, just Selecting that part, go to options, and then merge object. So now this is in the center part, and then I can go to the bottom part here, and then select the bottom part of the dummy. There you go. Now that I have these objects merged, you can notice as I select over these objects here, you can see that the highlights highlight the objects that are in the, those parts of the dummy. Now when I drop my maker pin, I can go ahead and equip it, and there I go. I'm wearing the object. Of course, I have some weird legs going on, but, you know, that can be fixed later. So I'm going to go ahead and unequip that. And that is how you can edit and merge onto your dummy. Now that we have learned how to edit and merge our objects onto our costume dummy, let's go ahead and play around with some of the settings. And we can do that by opening up our maker pin menu, then going to configure right on our maker pin menu there, and then selecting our costume dummy. And we get a couple of different options. Uh, we can hide outfit items. These are items that players wear. So you can hide the head, body, left hand, and right hand. This allows for the cosmetics to not show through your costume so it doesn't interfere with your costume. You can also show the equip UI. So there's a UI that pops up so that players can uh, select it. You can toggle that on or off if you would like that. Otherwise, it's really good to turn off if you have something like circuitry or gameplay in the matter. Play equips sound effects. Now, each costume has a sound effect, but you can always turn that off. You can also create a key. This is only for R. Plus, this allows for creators to earn tokens, but you can only do this with R. Plus. We have a lot of really cool pose options. Right now we're on the idle pose, but we can go ahead and select the A pose. 
the X pose, the crouch, the sit pose, the lean backward pose, the lean right, the hero fly, one of my favorites, the dab, can't forget the dab, the T pose, idle, jump, Lean forward, lean left, he's doing some exercises there, the hero, hero land. The poses are a really good way to showcase your costumes, also a really good way to test out how your costume moves on the costume dummy. Now that we have learned how to configure our costumes and add some pretty cool settings to our costumes, we can now learn how to add a button or a trigger zone to our costumes. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say you wanted to add a button somewhere in your world or your game so players can select the button and wear the costume or they walk into a zone and the costume is automatically applied to them. Now you can do this by opening up your maker pen menu and then going to your palette there, go to gadgets, go to circuits v2 and then select the CV2 button. There you go. There's your CV2 button. Let's go ahead and wire the CV2 button up. So when the equip to, when pressed, so when the button's pressed, it equips, but we have to say that the player executed this. So let's say the player selected that. So we have to put the player on there and then we can go ahead and try that out. So let's go. Now we're wearing the costume, pretty good. Now let's say you wanted your players to walk into a zone and it automatically applies this costume. You can do that by opening up your maker pen menu here, going and opening up your palette, and then going to, let's go ahead and go to circuits V2, right under circuits V2, trigger volume V2. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of manipulate that into place. Let's go ahead and put that into place. So if a player walks into the zone, they automatically wear the costume. So we're gonna go ahead and wire this up. So we have player entered. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire that up there. And player, just like before. So when the player walks into the zone, they automatically wear the costume. So that is how you can create your own costume. So if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And remember, be creative and give it your rack room best. And I'll see you in rack room. Have a good one.